I think. I'm all for you making something and bring them and in. And I'm with you, Dave. I get the weirdest look when I go any place and order a black coffee. Right. With the days of frappuccinos and mochas and all that stuff. Even Evie, to see, gave me just a look there. See, my wife only Bring drinks it. regular coffee. I don't drink coffee at all. I order it for her. Ah, uh, yeah, this black coffee here. I'm a yeah. pretty simple guy. Pretty it's simple guy. It's hard right, to get anymore. This <laughs> morning, looking towards the uh, north over Carbondale, and uh, we do have a few high, thin clouds rolling in. Uh, we should have a gorgeous sunrise thanks to some of those high, thin clouds this morning. Uh, 50. Four degrees in Carbondale. Uh, pressure uh, is on the high side, but it is holding steady as high pressure uh, passes by to our south. Winds this morning right now in Carbondale are calm, uh, but they will turn more towards the south and west as we go throughout the day today. Uh, today is going to be a little warmer than yesterday. Uh, we'll be back in the mid 80s, but the humidity remains on the low side as well. Tracking more clouds, especially by this afternoon, but a dry day today that all changes into Wednesday. Uh, scattered showers, scattered storms pretty likely throughout the morning hours. That's going to bring one of the best rain chances through the day on Wednesday, and uh, we do expect uh, some widespread showers and some thunderstorms. The humidity will be climbing Wednesday. It sticks around through Thursday and Friday. Uh, that will also fuel uh, some more chances for at least isolated, maybe up to scattered showers, scattered storms Thursday and into Friday. There goes high pressure, though, now passing to our south. It is going to continue to track eastward. Notice out to our west, uh, what you see there is a lot of high, thin clouds rolling out across parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. Uh, associated with a lot of storms back into the plains. Those high thin clouds will make their way in throughout the day today, but still pretty quiet for our region. Uh, temperatures into the uh, middle 80s, uh, about 84 or so on average across southern Illinois and into western Kentucky, maybe a degree or so warmer into the Missouri boot heel. Again, humidity remains in check today. Should be a, still a pretty nice afternoon to be outside. We are dry until tomorrow morning. Scattered showers, scattered storms likely due to be uh, developing right around daybreak. Sun, uh, sunrise on Wednesday morning, but uh, notice more showers and storms back through the St. Louis metro area, and then they track eastward through about mid morning. Widespread rain, especially into southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. Some pockets of heavier rain, some thunder, some lightning. A strong storm or two could produce some gusty winds, but the severe weather threat does appear to be on the low side. By uh, Wednesday afternoon, wherever these storms end up uh, tracking across southern Illinois, they're likely to send an outflow boundary, rain cooled cold cold front southward. Notice the big contrast in temperatures. Areas that see rain only in the upper 70s. Elsewhere, we could see some upper 80s. That boundary could be the focus for a few more scattered showers and storms to redevelop Wednesday afternoon. Again, severe weather risk low. Storm Prediction Center putting parts of our area in a level one late tonight and once again tomorrow. An isolated strong storm with some small hail, some gusty winds, the main threat. And notice these are the areas that we do expect to, uh, the rain, at least the highest rain chance across our region and uh, rainfall amount could see some pockets of heavier rain on average about a quarter to a half an inch though expected Wednesday morning things are going to really warm up Thursday and Friday mid to upper 80s it's going to be a lot more humid scattered showers scattered storms possible Thursday isolated storms Friday it looks more and more likely we're going to see this cold front we're tracking uh, hold off until Saturday that unfortunately means more wet weather into the first part of the weekend and quite a cool down behind that front highs on Sunday only about 70 degrees we could see some upper 40s as well Sunday and Monday morning bouncing back in the 80s by the middle of next week. So is there any need to cancel plans for Saturday? You know, it's something we'll watch as we get a little closer. Again, uh, the trend has been to slow down that front. Uh, that does mean more rain, though, into Saturday. All right, I got a question for both of you guys. Have you ever been to a ball game of any kind and you're standing at the concession stand and all of a sudden a big play happens and you miss it? Yes. No. Yeah. Been there. Oh, I have. I've been there. Well, Uber Eats.